get roasted by sister blank we'll leave out the name twenty dollars personal video i will sl there's a u there there's supposed to be a u there i will sl u t shame the low low hose those who are getting down and dirty no filter needed bible in hand hear it from me who do you want me to roast s-l-u-t shame i guess they are supposed to put their name here phone number of person being roasted we will send the video roast to this number she wants you to put the person's telephone number here is this person being a ho upload photo for me to roast to make it more personal lol and they put the the actual link there for you to upload the photo of the person number one this is an invasion of privacy number two it's considered harassment but this person thinks it's okay this person is driven in their so-called ministry to do this type of shaming to girls that are not saved understand that brothers sisters friends the people that we're supposed to be reaching out there on the harvest field and preaching the gospel to they're not many of the times they're heathen they're not saved of course there's a few lukewarms there mingling with the unsaved and we come at them in a certain way but we sure don't do this type of slut shaming but this person has made a type of ministry a type of ministry out of this and they feel that they're being very profitable and they're not going to change they're not going to change there's no one in this person's circle of influence that'll take them to the side and break down the scriptures to them and let them know what you're doing is wrong you need to repent you need to change before it's too late no one has been in their circle of influences and their circle of influence that is that has told them took them to the side teach them the way of god more perfectly in this case the use of foul language and how it's not permitted in the kingdom of god sad situation but also if they've been warned it's going to be a worthy judgment from god colossians 4 6 let your speech be always 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 with grace seasoned with salt let's, let's say that again with grace seasoned with salt now this isn't meaning that you can use this as your salt by speaking very derogatorily towards women or men and 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 shaming them into repentance that's not the type of grace season with salt that the apostle was referring to that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man now a person asks you why should i be saved what's the purpose of following the way of christ you tell them well because jesus christ is the only way there are other dead ends that are assumed to be the right paths to get to eternal life but they're dead ends there are other religions Jesus Christ is very exclusive. He will have no other gods besides him. He's God manifested in flesh. And if you do not believe that he is the son of God, you'll die in your sins. That's the grace that we tell people about, that they can have eternal life through one man. They can have their sins remitted, but also telling the severity of their rejection of the gospel. That's the salt. But it sure isn't, as I stated, doing this type of shaming. And then asking for the person's phone number, asking them for their picture, uh, asking about their type of lifestyle, getting into you know details about their their life. This person is just way off course. I know it may be cool, it may be funny. People, you may gather a crowd, and there may be a lot of you know onlookers, and they're entertained. But to what expense? 
What does it profit you to be, you know, successful in this world, to gain the world and lose your soul? Ecclesiastes 10.12 The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. Self-implosion. A spontaneous combustion in a sense. The Bible says the wicked will melt like wax before the presence of the Lord. You want your your words uh, to be gracious in this life. Yes, we make mistakes. We go down a certain path with our speech and we realize our, our, our error and we get back on the right path. We say, wow, I allowed my words to speak on such things. I allowed my words to be many rather than few. I spoke slanderously towards individuals. I spoke uh, in, a, in a judgmental way towards many individuals, and I should have exercised more grace. I falsely accused. I was backbiting with my tongue. I was gossiping. Now I need to harness the tongue. That's when you come to repentance. That's when you come to the acknowledgement of your sins. But the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. It will be too late for that person. They'll go down to the end without repentance. Colossians 3, 8, as we close. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Put it off. While it may seem cool to do your little S-L-U-T shaming time, you're in violation of the word of God. But many people don't care about that. They just want the popularity and the applause of man over the things of God. And that's why there's a judgment day. It's appointed unto man one time to die and then the judgment. And we will be judged for the words that come out of our mouth. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. You have the word of God. We have the word of God to come against this type of method. Amen. Until next time, go in peace in Jesus' name. Because unfortunately, many of you lost your virginity in the backseat of an automobile. <laughs> Now, are you a real virgin or do you want it but just can't get it? Oh.